Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So I got a bit of a life hack for you guys on boxing um, stuff that's big and maybe long. You don't have a box that fits it. Well, I got something that's going to help everybody out. So you need to make sure to share this video, show it to everybody, because I've never seen this done before by anybody that I watch on YouTube. And I think this is going to be really cool. And um, you'll even be able to use your Lonnie Shed Flips resizer tool to do this with all right so we have this item here let's say we needed to ship this it won't fit this way and it won't fit this way there's no way to get it in there right so what we're going to do is first make sure our box is big enough to fit that item which i think this is uh just big enough so should work just well with this comparison all right so what we're going to do is on each side you're only going to want to do this to this side and this side here, okay? So you want to put a line up the middle here and down there as well at the bottom. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. And another one here and down there on the bottom. And I'll show you guys what to do next. So let me get that done real quick. All right, so once you have your lines here on each end, you just kind of guesstimate it, make sure that they're the exact same width apart. If you want to, you can take something that's gonna run all the way across, that way you know your lines straight on with each other. But, or you can just cut it, eyeball it, and cut it right in the center of each flap. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna take our handy dandy scissors, and we're going to cut in the middle of each flap, just like so. You could use scissors or probably to be quicker you could use your lining resizer tool here so then you cut here like that Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your resizer tool and on each side of the box where you drew the lines, you're going to run it where you cut it, right down the fill where your thing is, and then what you're able to do now is you're able to twist that box and you can bend it right there or where you used your tool at. And then it turns this box sideways, just like so. It's really, really cool. Let me put a piece of tape on it just to hold it. So then, your box that is sideways now. You made it, you basically what you did, you just made it elongated. You just took the box and moved it a little bit. So now this should fit perfectly in there and ship very easily. Hope this brought you guys some tools to use when you're shipping items. You can even do it with smaller boxes. I did it with one over here with a smaller box. But guys, this is a lifesaver. I mean, literally, you can take a box that is a 12 by 8 by 10. Let's see, what is this? This is a 14 by 14 by 12. And we just took the 14 by 14 by 12 and turned it into a 21 by 12 by seven box. So 
this right here is amazing uh i'm gonna i can't wait to show you guys gonna upload this video as soon as possible to youtube so you guys can see this uh but this is a lifesaver man um saw this on tiktok i'm gonna leave credit to the girls tiktok that did this down in the description below um and i might even put a little phone clip over here you guys may have already seen it where this lady does this and i just think it's amazing i think it's amazing i think it's going to save you guys from having to order different size boxes or franken box stuff up this is going to save you guys some time it doesn't take any time at all to do it it was quick simple and to the point and uh yeah i really like this i think it's going to be a lifesaver hope you guys enjoyed